Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating how a magnetic field influences a rectangular loop. Specifically, we will look at the calculation of the torque on the loop and also the direction of rotation of this rectangular loop. Consider the following arrangement. This is the y axis, this is the x axis and this is the z axis. We have a rectangular loop with one of its sides hinged to the z axis and the plane of the rectangle is at an angle 30 degrees to the y axis. That is, it will look something like this. So, this angle is 30 degrees from the y axis and the, there are 20 turns. And the dimensions are 0.2 meters in this direction and 0.4 meters in this direction. So, given a current of 0.5 amperes in the loop and the number of turns in the loop is 20. The magnetic field applied is Y cap 1.2 Tesla. That is, the magnetic field is this. Magnetic field is in this direction along the positive Y axis. Our goal is to find the torque on the loop and also find the direction of the rotation of this loop. So, the torque is given by the magnetic moment M bar cross product with the magnetic field B bar. The magnetic moment M bar is given by the normal vector N cap multiplied by N into I into A, where N is the number of turns, I is the current and A is the area of the loop. And since the loop is a rectangle, the area is just length into breadth which is given by 0.4 into 0.2 meter square which is 0 0.08 meter square and the only unknown is n cap which is the normal to the surface normal to the loop surface or the loop plane in this problem since the plane of the loop makes an angle of 30 degrees with the y axis the normal should be in this direction so the normal basically makes an angle of 60 degrees with the y axis hence it can be written as y cap sin 30 degrees that is cos 60 minus x cap cos 30 degrees because the normal vector is in a direction opposite to the positive x axis that is it is in the negative x direction I mean, one of the components is in the negative x direction hence the normal is y cap sin 30 minus x cap cos 30 which is equivalent to y cap 1 by 2 minus x cap square root of 3 by 2. So, the magnetic moment m bar is equal to y cap 1 by 2 minus x cap square root of 3 by 2 multiplied by n which is 20 into current which is 0.5 amperes. The current is given as 0.5 amperes and the area is found to be 0 0.08 meter square. So, we have 0 0.08. Therefore, the torque is given by m bar cross b bar which is equal to y cap 1 by 2 minus x cap square root of 3 by 2 20 into 0.5 into 0 0.08 cross product with y cap 1.2 tesla therefore t bar is equal to minus z cap because y y cap cross y cap is always 0 because it's, they are in parallel they are basically same vector and x cap cross y cap is z cap and we have a minus it is cross product of x the unit vector in x direction with the unit vector in y direction is always going to be the unit vector in z direction so we have minus z cap into the rest of the numbers which is basically equal to 0 0.83 and the unit is and the units are newton meters therefore the final torque is in the negative z direction that is, it is in this direction. So, since the torque is in z direction, that is negative z direction, since the torque is in negative z direction, that is this one. So, the loop is somewhere here. So, when we use the right hand thumb rule and when we view the loop from the top, then the direction should be 
their direction of rotation should be clockwise since the force is in this direction because this is the direction of rotation and this is the direction of torque. So, the loop should be moving clockwise from above. So, the direction is clockwise from above. Thus, we can calculate the torque due to a magnetic field on a rectangular loop. Thanks for watching.